Dear Pennies and Pens, it's your girl, Lao Pen, but you can call me Penny. Today's vlog is called Pens Rhythm Nation Unboxing Overdrive by I.N. Okay, so first of all, for those that don't know, I am is a Korean rapper and singer. He's a soloist as well as a member of Monster X. His first album, Duality, dropped in February of 2021. And so in June of 2023, he dropped his second uh, solo album, which is called Overdrive, uh, which is what I'm going to unbox in today's vlog. Now, as I mentioned in my last couple of vlogs, because I just shot my K Penny unboxing Chanu for Singles Magazine vlog, and then my K Penny unboxing Wano uh, 2023 Dumbstruck photo book. I just shot those unboxing vlogs. So as I mentioned in those vlogs, I'm gonna no longer shoot them live. Like I'm going to basically like unbox them off camera, figure out what's in it, what I like about the products, what I don't like and blah, blah, blah. And then just kind of shoot like a staging unboxing video on the Penny Black YouTube channel, okay? So enough of me babbling. Let's get into me actually like unboxing the album, okay? Now, y'all, here go to thank, 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 because I just mentioned I did uh, uh, the K Penny unboxing Chanu for Singles Magazine and the K Penny unboxing 10 2023 Dumbstruck Photo Book unboxing. So I loved everything about Chanu on the cover of Singles Magazine. It was phenomenal. The covers were beautiful. Photos inside of the editorial were beautiful. One of those dumbstruck photo book was beautiful. It was just absolutely iconic. But I.M, sweetie, I gotta give you some feedback on your packaging. This, sir, I, Musically Overdrive is one of my favorite albums of 2023. Packaging wise, it leaves a little bit to be desired, okay? Now let's get into why Penn was not all that in love with this packaging. Although she loves I Am, thinks he's a great artist and um, loves the music on this album. I wanna make that clear because I wanna say positive things because I know that I Am and his team over at Sony Music Korea worked really hard to create and release this album. And, and I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a celebrity. No, don't nobody know who I am. And, and follow me on the internet. So I can only imagine the, the stress and pressure of creating the album itself. And then when you genuinely do have an audience and people expect certain things of you, the stress and pressure that creates. I, 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 I'll just imagine in my, in my head because I, I, I can't officially relate. But anyways, um, you know, so I wanna make sure I say that and thank y'all for your hard work creating and releasing this album. But again, to give some feedback about the packaging, first things first. Why why is it in a bag? It's it's not it's not a it's not a sandwich that I'm gonna eat for lunch. So why is it in a Ziploc bag? I don't I don't really understand that. Now from the standpoint of keeping everything together, I like that it's in a bag. But the fact that it's got this like Ziploc thing happening here. I, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just not very sure. I'm, I'm not very sure. I'm, I'm just, I'm just not very sure. All right, so now let's get to, I, oh gosh, I, I don't. Let me talk about something that I like now that I just talked about something I don't like. So that way we got a positive, negative to cancel some things out. All right, let's go. So in this album, there is what's called a lenticular card. It's just like a really cool concept that I've only really seen K-pop artists do within their albums. And it's just like, it has a photo, right? You see that photo? But then if you flip it, the photo change. Ah, 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 ah. See, you see, you see, you see, you see? Do you see? Ooh, 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 ooh. So it's cool, right? It's cool. And then on the back, it has his logo, which it took for him forever to realize that that's a squiggly I and a squiggly M with a dot in the middle because it's I dot M. For the longest time, I thought it was a fish. I was like, is it a fish? Honey, I didn't know. All right, so I do, but I do like this. Like I said, this lenticular card, I think that is so cool. All right. 
Now it has a, also a little ID card, all right? So it's got his birthday. It's got a photo of him, his name, I die M. And then his birthday is January 26, 1996. And the release date of the album was June 23rd, 2023. And then on the back. So I love this. I thought this was really cool too. And it's hard too. It's like a, can y'all hear that when I tap it on the, on the table? You know what I'm saying? So I thought this was super duper cool. I really, really like these. This was dope. Now, you know, like I said, we doing positive and negative. So we can try to cancel some things out. Because like I said, I do believe that he worked very, him and his team worked very hard on this album. But there was just a couple of things. Pam was, I, I, I. and there also, I forgot to say, the reason why I mentioned you and one O is because I do want I die M to take a page out of his Hyung's books. For those that don't know, Hyung is a word in Korean that basically means like older brother. Okay, and so sometimes in Korean culture, like a younger man will call older man Hyung as opposed to their name. Okay, it's just a sign of showing them respect because that person is older than you. Okay, so I do want him to take a page out of their book because like. The next thing I'm about to show y'all, the photo cards and the photo cards, I was like, I die them. I just, I don't, I just, I just don't, I just don't understand. They just, they weird and not in a good way where, you know, like, pay her vlogs be weird. I'll be kind of yelling and talking all over the place and stuff. Maybe y'all find that good weird. Maybe you don't. I don't know. Maybe you just unsubscribe or leave the vlog. I don't know. Like I say, I am is a famous artist. Okay. So... Me saying these things ain't gonna hurt I dot M in any way. So I don't want no mumba beds coming for me, coming for me, come for me. Oh, I am is my bias. Don't you say that about him. Cause that's how people be feeling on the internet. They get upset with you. I'm just sharing my opinion. Okay. I only have 69 subscribers, so it's not a lot of people gonna see this vlog. All right. So don't you worry, little baby. Don't you worry. All right. Now here's the first photo card that I pulled from this version. Why does Penn not like it? Because that is not a flattering angle of I am's face. He is a very handsome guy, but this is not a flattering angle. I'm so sorry. This, no. <laughs> okay, he too handsome for all of that. And yes, I'm a fan in the comment section. I don't know this guy in real life. So whether or not he looks handsome in a photo doesn't matter and affect my daily life or day-to-day -day activities. I understand and recognize that. But as someone who bought a copy of this album, I just would like to have a photo card that I think looks nice, right? So that's what I'm saying. Okay, second photo card. This one. Why don't I like it? Not because there's anything wrong with the pose, the angle, but because it's a photo card. Photo cards are traditionally, not always, obviously, he's doing something different. A picture of the artist's like face, like from the neck up. Why? Because a photo card is so small. Y'all see how small this card is. So the reason why I don't like this photo card is because since he's standing up, it's like you're squinting to like even see the photo and what's happening in the photo. If this was like a poster or a picture in the photo book where it's a bigger photo, it would be fine. But since it's on a photo card, it just looks weird. I'm just like, what is that? Now, oh, this photo card really irritated the shit out of me, y'all. I'm going to be blunt, pennies and pins. I was pissed. Like, honestly, y'all know Monster X is my favorite band of all time in K-pop. They just are it for me. And then I love all of the members' solo projects. Like, Kian, no, technically I Am was the first to do a solo project in 2021. But at the time, Duality was only released digitally, so it was only on streaming platforms. And then later on, they pressed it on vinyl, and y'all know y'all saw I did that unboxing vlog for that. But anyways, um, and then Keon did um, an official solo album that was pressed onto CD with his release of Voyager, March of last year. Then did a follow-up album, Youth, October of last year. And then Jahuni um, just did a solo album um, in May of 2023, okay? And then y'all know Wano used to be a member of Monster X, is now a soloist, and he's obviously done several different albums. So, like, again, I don't like, like, comparing him to, like, his hands, like, his bandmates, but it's like, bro, you gotta take a page out their book. Like, some of this stuff in this album was just strange. So, now, this is the third photo card after another 10 minutes of me babbling. 
why doesn't Penn like it? Because once again, it's a full body photo on a small ass photo card. You can't see his face. You can't see anything. He's wearing like this thick ass jacket or something. I don't like, what is this? Why am, why am I supposed to like looking at this photo? What, what is this supposed to do for me? I, I, I don't, what is it supposed to do? <laughs> like, I get it that it's supposed to be like this abstract art or whatever, but like, save this kind of stuff. Like, I am post this on a free Instagram story, not print it on a photo card that's included in an album that I pay for. There is a difference between content you just post on social media for free and content you get printed onto a photo card or in a photo book or in an album. It's a big deal, you know what I'm saying? I've had to learn this as a creative and an entrepreneur too. Like, it's a difference, you know what I'm saying? When people have actually paid for your products and services, it's different and they gonna be a lot harder and harsher on you to be blunt. I had the same thing with a customer a couple of years ago that had ordered a pennies and pants t-shirt and a size small. I sent them a medium thinking it would be okay because I'm like, oh, it's the same design. They like, no, we want the size small, not the medium. They, they let my ass have it. And I had to take that because I was in the wrong. If a customer ordered this shirt in that size, that's what I sent them, period. So if a customer, a mom baby, buy your album, you got to make sure that these photo cards and photo books and all the inclusions is on point. Because if you follow K-pop heavily like I do, it's a big deal. The photo card makes it breaks the album. I, it's just a thing. So, okay. So now let's talk about something that I do like in the album. The stickers. I actually did like the stickers. You know what I'm saying? Now, a non-adult K-pop fan, they don't understand why it's been spending all this time on the internet, opening up albums, talking about stickers and photo cars and all of that because adult non-K-pop fans had a tendency to sometimes stereotype adult K-pop fans like me and say that we're being juvenile and weird and it's childish and blah, 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 blah. These people clearly have never seen that quote that circulated around social media for years. I wasn't just born to pay bills and die. So since I believe in that quote, I wasn't just born to pay bills and die, I sometimes like to spend my money on buying K-pop albums and merch. Why? Because it makes me happy. And if you like something and it makes you happy, buy it. Life is too short. Just a quick little lesson. Quick little lesson. All right? So one sticker has his logo and then all of the song names that are on the album. There's six songs total on the album. And then the other stickers just have like certain song names. So this one has Overdrive, which is the name of the album, also the name of the title track, which I love. What an iconic song. Gotta talk about the music a little bit. Um, because again, the music on this album is in fact iconic. Like I, I, musically, I am slayed this album. Just ate it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It was crazy how much swag Overdrive has. And then there's this song on there called Dumb. And it just has this iconic lyric. Are you dumb, 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 baby? You're so dumb. <laughs> ah! Anik! All right. And then there's also Not Sorry, which is the last song on this album. Because apparently I am went to Nigeria or Ghana and decided to pull from some Afro pop inspirations. Because, I mean, you can hear that Afro pop in Not Sorry. It's iconic. And then there's just the sticker of his logo. Okay, so now next thing. Oh, and I forgot to show. This was on top of the sticker set. It's just is like the thing that closed it. Um, and then now the, the CD. That's what the CD looked like. Let me open it up. It's probably still gonna have that bad glare because this is kind of like a see-through CD. Yeah, it's got that glare. It's not really gonna be able to see it, but it just got the logo and then the copyright credits and all that jizzy jazz. That was another feedback. The jewel case thing, it works because it's in the bag, but this jewel case felt a little cheap to me, to be blunt. I was like, what? Okay. All right. And so next we have the lyrics book. Um, I love the design of it as far as like the flames and stuff. What I don't like is how small it is. Can y'all tell? Like, let me show it up to next to the album. It's small. 
So I just was like, it's small. Why is it so small? I know this is nerdy, but I like to would play. Y'all know I play the CD. And I like to lip, flip through the photo book and the photo cards and the lyrics book as I listen to the album. It's just, y'all know how into music I am. The Penny Black YouTube channel focuses on music. So I'm just like intense about that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, it's got the lyrics and to the song. So we won't go through too much of that because I am trying to get a move on with the vlog. Because we still got to unbox. Oh shoot, I forgot I got to grab the jewel case too. So I unboxed that too. Okay, so now this is what the photo book looked like. That's the front. Now I do like the fact that the little, the word overdrive, can y'all see is the glare bag? Can you see that it say the word overdrive? Well, it say the word overdrive and it's got them kind of like, bu it's like them bubbly letters or whatever. This photo book was was cool. It's not, it's not my favorite photo book. It's not. I dot am I'm sorry I love you but somebody like what is that like I get again I know it's supposed to be artistic it's it's art but it's it's also got to be enjoyable for the person that's flipping through it you know what I'm saying and when I say enjoyable I don't mean like I can barely see you can barely see him in this picture you got to literally like squint and zoom into it you know what I'm saying like it need to be visually enjoyable okay talk to Shanu talk to Jahuni talk to Kian because they did not miss they did not miss I mean Jahuni had me going ham I have like I don't even want to say on camera how many copies of Jahumi's Lights album I have. I don't even want to say on camera how many copies of Voyager and Youth I have. I, I don't want to say. I don't. That's how excited I was about them photo books and them photo cards. So I need, I need to just go ahead and have a chit chat with your hands and figure out how you can be artistic, but also create content that is great. Now, these photos I do like. Even this one where you can't see his face or nothing, he looking down. See, like you can't really see his face because he looking down, but it's still something about it that's visually pleasing. You see what I'm saying? There's a difference. You can be artistic. You can do the artistic, I'm not really looking at the camera because I'm too school, too cool for school. You know, you can do all of that. But you got you to gotta watch when, where, and how you do it. It's got to make sense. And again, it's still got to be visually pleasing to the person who done bought the album? All right. Um, what else in here? Now, these, this one I did kind of like. I like that photo. I thought that one was cool. It probably don't look as good on camera. Y'all know I shoot on my little iPhone because I'm not a professional YouTuber. Because I don't have a lot of followers. And I don't have a lot of money. So, I just... I, I do the best I can with what I got, little baby. You could... There's another. YouTuber that's doing an unboxing vlog of this album that has a lot more subscribers and and a, and a microphone and and and, and, and pro professional lighting equipment. So so if you don't like my unboxing vlog, you can go follow them. All right. I did. I do like these photos too. I do like those too. All right. And there was a couple more in here that I did really like, and I do like these like black and whites too. Again, that one, I don't know how good it look on the camera, but it does look really great in person. So I wanna make sure I say the positive stuff because there were some great positives in this album. It really was. It was just a couple of things. I was like, I don't, I don't know. I, honey, I, 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 again, you see how that one, you can't really see his face because it's kind of the lighting is dark and he looking down, but something about it is still very cool and visually pleasing all right okay so now let's move on to the next version this vlog is probably gonna end up being 30 minutes when we all break it down but we'll try to move faster this time because we basically this is just a different version so it's basically the same thing so again the photo cards were strange they were so weird so in this one he's winking and his hair it's wet. Okay. Once again, full body photo on a... Y'all, it don't even look good on Because <laughs> it's so far away, there's no way that I can even try. 
try to show y'all what it really looked like on camera. It's so weird. Oh, and that's what the back looked like. And the weirdest photo car of all of them, a photo of his literal neck. Now, I guess this was supposed to be sexy or something, but I don't am. I am a fan in the comment section. So I, what is looking at your neck supposed to do? I, 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 I don't, I don't know you in real life. What, 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 I, I just, it's just strange. All right, now let's get to the lenticular. Cause y'all know I love the lenticular car. Look at the lenticular car. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. See how cool that is? I'm telling y'all, K-pop helped me get in touch with my inner child and stop taking life so seriously. Y'all take life too seriously. Uh-uh, you got to listen to you some K-pop, have you a good time, little baby. And I love the ID card. Got the nice photo. Again, his name, birth date, and the release date of the album. Again, the back of the album. Or the back of the uh, ID card. Okay, so let's keep moving. Because Penny done gone on and on and on and on and on. All right, now we got this sticker set. Now we did get, we got the Overdrive song again. Got that as a sticker. Oops, I almost dropped it. Oh, and there's this song on this album called More. Ooh, y'all, More. Ooh, that song, Little Bad. I don't know. I, I, I <laughs> Master X members that write and produce their own songs, which is I Am, uh, Jahuni, and Hung Wan. Kian has also written a couple of songs as well. They all they talk and talk about how they like to write songs with Mon Bebe in mind. Mon Bebe is again fans of Monster X, it means my baby in French. But he wasn't thinking about Mon Bebe when he wrote more because the song is a little seductive. It's it's a little seductive, sweetie. That one that it wasn't inspired by the fans. All right, then we got the logo, his name. There's also um, this song on the album called Blame. That's a really dope, iconic song. Let me take a sip of water. All oh, this talking, I done got thirsty. All right, back to the unboxing. And then there's Habit. Habit is such a cool song. It's got this really cool jazzy beat. The saxophonist slayed this song, okay? I need I.M and the saxophonist to do a live performance of the song, all right? With a full band. Let's add a drummer. Let's add a guitarist. Let's get crazy. All right, and then I'm not going to go through the CD and the lyrics book. I'll just quickly show it. But I'm not going to go through it because it's exactly the same as the other version, basically. Okay? But we will go through the photo book because it is completely different. And I like this version's photo book a lot better. Okay, so this is what the cover looked like. It's some kind of hot lava, hot, hot lava, hot fire. fire. All right, now let's go through the photo book. Now, like I said, I love this photo book. Now, it does have in here what we call in K-pop fangirl world as thirst traps. What are thirst traps? Well, when the artist may have a nice body and they might show a little bit of the body in some of the photos. And so we call that a thirst trap because it's trapping us with our thirst. So let me find a good photo where it, it where we could definitely call it a thirst trap. I know there's a thirst trap in here. Okay, here we go. See, that's thirst trap. See, that's thirst trap. Because I not am know that mom babies, we in the comment section. If we lucky, we can afford to buy a copy of the album, maybe get a bubble subscription or, or, or join the official fan club and get access to the fan cafe. That's if we lucky. That's if we got a couple extra dollars, a couple extra pennies. But you know what I'm saying? So they be throwing these thirst traps in there. This is a thirst trap. All right, that's what you call a thirst trap. That's what you see. And then there were also just these cool non-thirst trap photos like that. It's cool. You see, it's like I am you can be your you can be your artistic self. You can be artistic. Like this is a photo. It's artistic, but it's still visually pleasing. Alright. 
Oh, we got a couple of more thirst traps. Okay, so that's more thirst traps. More, more thirst traps. All right, and then we got the, again the photos. They had what they wet the hair. He, I don't know if he took a shower. They wet the hair. They, the stylist put some water on his head. Said, take some photos with some water in your hair. I don't know. I'm a black woman. We don't like to get our hair wet unless it's wash day. Yes, even when you have natural hair. Oh, honey, don't don't you wet no black woman hair. We don't do all of that. Now this this is again. I was like, I die in what again. If this was like in an art gallery or, you know, you saw it on an Instagram story, you know, you would be like, okay, cool. It's just a, a, a side photo of his half his nose and half his mouth and a little bit of his chin. But in a photo book that you done paid for, I don't know about all that. I done it. Don't do that again. <laughs> I love you, but don't, don't, don't do that again. All right, these now these were cool. I didn't like those, those are cool. All right, so let's get a move on. Let's get a move on. There's like one more. I want to, oh, these were cool too. Love those more portrait style. Okay, now we'll show one last thirst trap. You see, that's a thirst trap. Then that's his real tattoo, y'all. That's not photoshopped on. That's that's what I'm talking about when I talk about the thirst trap. All right, let me just grab the jewel case off the couch. I forgot I had it. How's it just arrived today? Um, also, shout out to the mom bebe um, that basically sponsored this jewel case because I was I'm not going to get the jewel case because I was already, even like when I had bought the album, I was iffy because like some of the packaging and stuff in the duality album was a little interesting and even when i had saw like the digital photos of overdrive i was like i don't know how the packaging in this gonna be i was like i die am he doing all this kind of strange stuff i was i kept it very conservative it wasn't like how i spiraled out of control with jahuni and Keon and wano it, it wasn't like that because i was like i don't know what i am gonna do i, I don't know how it's gonna look so i was being a little conservative so um um the mom bebe that will just totally remain anonymous was like hey like i know you you know like to collect cds like let's so that's how i got overdrive on jewel case okay so this is what the front look like this is the back all right and then open it up you just got the uh booklet Oh, this is what the CD looked like, too. I like that CD design, though, because this one wasn't see-through. It was It's like a silver gray. Okay, so let me show y'all, like, the little photo card and the postcard. And the photo card, again, was that weird, not good angle. That's not a flattering angle. I'm so mad about that. God, that is not flattering for his face at all. He's too handsome for that. Okay, that's the photo card. And then this is the little postcard. No, I do love this. This is dope, okay? And again, it's like he not really looking directly at the camera, but it's still visually pleasing. You know what I'm saying? He don't, I am, I am. You don't have to look directly at the camera. You can do the artistic, I'm looking away, I'm looking away photo, but it's still got to be visually pleasing. And that's what this is. You see? All right? And then that's what the back look like. All right? And then photo book. See, again, that I don't, man, he got this jacket on. Y'all, I don't know what is going on. There really ain't too much of any. I'll just quickly go through the photo book because the jewel case photo books be smaller. Again, there go that photo. Again, it's supposed to be artistic. This looks weird to me. Um, this photo I think is cool. Let's flip to the next page. You know what I'm saying? The, oh, we got a thirst trap. We got a thirst trap. And then we got these. And then the last and final thing is just the lyrics. And then that's the back with all the album credits on it. So, you know what I'm saying? Thank you to I Am and his team. Y'all did a great job. I apologize. Hopefully nobody was too offended by the things that I didn't like. I just wanted to give my honest opinion. Okay? Um... Thanks for watching. Bye.